Good morning everybody. Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project. This feels very odd not standing in front of the camera and I'm not even sure if you can hear me. It's very unique for me. But letting out the chickens is my morning routine. Look at how they run and play. Every single morning they're so happy to greet the day. Look at that. They come flying out. Now the um, golden ones are meat on feet. So they're in here temporarily. The meat birds in the yard soon will be replacing them. Or will be removed and these will replace them. Yes. Now this is how we move the birds every day. It's such a simple task. I let the birds move themselves. So I set up the pan in the new location, put their food in it, and they're like ravenous wolves now. Open the floodgates and watch the hordes come flying out. Come birds! And there's a couple sort of not so smart ones in the bunch. Come on guys. Come on. Come on. Here's your door. There you go. Follow the other bird. There you go. Not so smart. task is now I've got a routine set up it's so much easier now and then pull this stake out so now it's a one-man operation only takes a couple minutes and they fertilize the yard it's beneficial they eat stuff there's fewer bugs now, but they get a lot of grass and weeds and whatever, vegetable matter. I love this piece of fence that I got at a garage sale. This was a church sale in summer. One of the best purchases I've made. And that's it, moving the bird routine is done for the day. They're happy, they got their food, and I can move on to other things. So we had a risk of freezing again last night. Um, this morning at seven o'clock it was 36 degrees. So the weather was saying in the 40s, low 40s, so I'm not sure exactly I forgot what the temperature was. Um, the Weather Channel and Wonderground both have two very different forecasts for the same place every day. And it varies by five to seven degrees in their estimations every day. So I can't be precise. I get confused about which was saying which. But. It looked like it was gonna freeze, so I covered up my tomatoes.
how late in the year we're getting tomatoes here. It's really like unbelievable. But the weather is uh, weird this year. Most gardens around here are done already. And again, froze and suffer for the damage. I wasn't the only one that took a hit here. That first freeze that wrecked my garden hurt everybody else in this area. It was not predicted. Now I can't speak for my neighbors, but at that time I did not know that the temperature here is 10 degrees colder at night than the temperature seven miles away in town because of the lake they have. That lake keeps it warmer there. So I've got more tomatoes to harvest. And then my zucchini is still bearing fruit. And the big squash pumpkin like thing is still bearing fruit. And then there's this other thing, I don't even know what it is, but it's struggling to hold on to life, so I cover it. And we're getting zucchini yet. So hey, October garden, garden harvest, I don't care. I'll take it. And there's this big pumpkin-y thing here growing, and uh, it's looking good. So there's my morning routine uh, on a cold day. Take care of all the birdies, take care of the garden, and then I've got to go in and work on the video. So I'll see you inside. Hey guys, got a package in the mail. I'm going to use a key to open it because I forgot my knife. I'm not a prepper today. I'm not prepared. Sorry, I'm yelling and I have the microphone on me. I'm used to the uh, old way of shouting on camera. Now, this is based on my uh, previous video from Today, when you see this, it'll be yesterday, and yes, YouTube bans me from advertising, in which case it might take another day. Um, I might explain that in another video later, how that works and why. But anyway, this is something that's going to, something I've always wanted to do, a uh, plan I've always had to make some money um, on our homestead, using ho all natural homestead products. And so I ordered, this to make my job easier and go better. What I have is a mixer. This is Proctor Silex. It's called a stick blender. And instead of working for two to four hours stirring and stirring and stirring and stirring and stirring your soap, you stick this thing in here. This has two speeds. You stick this thing in the soap and in 15 minutes you have soap. If you put it in the lye oil water mixture. In 15 minutes you have soap. Not two to four hours of hand stirring. The old ways are cool. The old ways are really neat to know. And it's good to have experienced the old ways firsthand in case the grid goes down and we have to go back to the old ways. Well, I have solar power anyway. As long as my batteries work and my solar panels work and my inverter works, it doesn't matter. Um, I have practiced the old school way of hand stirring for hours and I'm done with it. Okay, I've done it, I've experienced it, and I'm going modern. Okay. Forgive me guys, but I still will do it off the grid. All right, I'm gonna use my um, off-grid solar powered electronics lab, and I, or probably in the wood shop, and I'm gonna make soap for sale from now on. So this is a cool little device, all right? This is gonna make my life better. And we're gonna start doing all natural homemade soap here on the off-grid homestead. We're gonna start having 
homemade all natural products here at the off grid homestead and yes we are off the grid um, sorry guys I haven't really talked about it much I am um, gonna get back into basics get back into the way I used to do things and um, you know Melanie and I use all natural products and I'm gonna start sharing with you and well the rest of the world and there's markets fairs and shows around here that we can always go to all year round and start selling our products so um, I'm gonna start revamping that wood shop and getting it put together properly and uh, start turning out some products for sale at the craft shows and the fairs and things in the area um, my family down south they do a lot of stuff like that give them a bunch of it let them sell it at the markets and shows and fairs too so anyway uh, I gotta get back to work actually it's lunchtime I think I uh, was working on the video a lot this morning and talking to a good old friend from the past actually you may know him bison from bugging in and uh, he is still making survival videos he uh him and i used to hang out a lot and we used to make a lot of really fun videos we'd go out in the forest and we'd run around and get in mud and camping and experimenting with survival gear and he's still doing product reviews on some extremely good high-end survival gear so go check out bison from bugging in so uh anyway i had to get and get lunch and then um i'm gonna get back to work here at the homestead see you out there hey guys yesterday was the day I did the um, video that explaining why I had no video and after that I went out in a wood shop to relax a little bit but the sun is making it harder to see this um, let me see if I can block there we go yeah the colors don't show up as well in the darker anyway I took this out and I took it apart because the the boards were shrinking and I had massive gaps in between the uh, the boards and the whole thing was skewed and crooked because the wood has been drying indoors so I took it out and I ran everything through the planer heavily as people advised in the comments so yes I do listen and uh, often take advice in the comments which bring me, brings me to something else I changed hope I remember to show you today anyway I routed I used the router on the edges to give a nice rounded appearance to the edges and I went all along here and here this is not attached this piece is just sitting here okay and it looks like the legs have to be trimmed because one shrunk worse than the others everything's shrinking okay so the wood is drying and things are warping and twisting and shrinking but I took off all the top boards ran the router along the edges to make it uh, look more finished and then um, sanded it with a hundred grit sandpaper for a long time to get any uh, imperfections out as good as I could there's some deeper pits here nope the baby's waking up because of my voice and then I oiled it with mineral oil and here I also turned around the leg I'd had on backwards because I've got this sawtooth pattern here the cut pattern I ran the router along these three edges leaving a little bit of a bit that I, I didn't hit I don't know how well it shows on the camera anyway uh, the mineral oil really brought out the colors and Melanie thinks it's quite beautiful and that's what's important and my wife thinks it's beautiful that's what counts now today I think I'm going to put varnish on it on the top surface put a couple coats of varnish on the top because if we spill coffee on this right now it's going to soak in and stain but if I varnish the top where the most of the wear and tear is going to be it'll protect that so there's that that was one of the projects I did yesterday off camera I was just chilling and the woodworking is relaxing for me and uh, so yeah I really like how it turned out it was a good peaceful thing and it feels good to have an off-grid wood shop this was all done with the power of the Sun well I just put a single coat of varnish on the top of this um, looking quite pretty I think now so the rest you can see the color from the the oil I'm just putting varnish on the top because this is where potential coffee stains may occur so if we spill coffee I'd rather be able to whip it up wipe it up real quick mineral oil is fine for the sides lubricates and preserves the wood but I really want to have this surface protected and it'll maintain that color so that's nice I'm gonna let this dry a while and I'll come back out and then steel wool it lightly and then I'll reapply some more varnish um, my varnish can is mutilated 
it took me 15 minutes to get it open. Um, I learned the hard way that if you don't keep the rim of your varnish can clean, you'll ruin your can next time you open it. This was terrible. I had to try, I had to actually use pliers. So now I've got to get a jar or something to put the varnish in. Otherwise I'm going to lose a, more than half a can here and there. Anyway, while it's open already, I'm going to go ahead and varnish some of my coffee coasters. Might as well finish some projects while I'm at it here with the varnish open. Now forgive the mess because we're getting ready for winter, but there's some feral cats. They just showed up one day. They're beautiful. Beautiful kittens. I was trying to tame them. They're just enjoying the doorstep. I can get a little bit closer to them. The uh, mother must have got killed because um, one day I saw the mother run off. I wonder if she was sick. About a month ago or so, I saw the mother run off from under the steps and these two kittens were left behind and I never saw her again. She must have been sick. And uh, it's a cat I had seen around and been trying to talk to all the time. I'm pretty sure that was the mother. And um, she must have sort of trusted me or something because she left him in our trust. We've been feeding them. They uh, eat mice and everything else that runs around. So they're beneficial here. And so we feed them to keep them here. They're beautiful. So I'm preparing some coffee coasters for sale. These are ones we had made in New York. And uh, life got in the way. And I never finished varnishing these. So now that I finally got the varnish out, it's time to get some coffee coasters put together. See if Melanie knows where her stuff is, her wood burning. These are beautiful. And these are things she can do again when uh, she's recovering from the operation. So, it's very relaxing work. Very peaceful. Very peaceful, relaxing work. I've got the wider foam brush only because I'm doing the uh, coffee table. By the way, the shirt makes a great dust brush. Lint free. I don't know if you notice, I, I, I don't know what all you can see, I didn't pay attention to the angle of the camera when I'm wiping my shirt, but I brush the dust off the surface of them real quick in my shirt. These are the off-grid project my, the off-grid project uniform, my work shirt. So these are patterns Melanie did and uh, she does some fine work. So we're gonna get these finished up today since I got the varnish going and uh, get them up there for sale. By the way you guys can check these out at RecycledPalletProducts.com my web store. I'm going to start working on that again too. I haven't done anything with woodworking for sale since we moved here. I started on some projects as you know but I mean I haven't uh, put anything really up for sale on the uh, websites or anything. I've got a lot of wood burning ideas and projects that I've been working on so I'll get them loaded up there each day I'll work a little bit more on that and get those things going. Finish the project or the product listings. And as I get more and more familiarized with my wood shop tools, I'll get better and get more complicated uh, projects going. I want to get into framing, making photo frames and um, frames for p painting and pictures using recycled pallet wood. I think that's a beautiful resource that hasn't been tapped enough yet. 
So these again are the recycled pallet wood coffee coasters. This one wasn't, that was a, a test blank. And I'm going to let these dry and then I'll come back and do three coats on the top and then I'll do the outside edges afterwards. It's easier that way to do one side and then do the edges. So, boy, I don't know where the hairs come from on these, but they're coming out. All right, guys. Doing a lot of variety today. It's a beautiful day out. I keep saying that word, don't I? Oh well, it is. Hey guys, Melanie has a package arrived in the mail. Actually, it says the Reed family, but we're going to let Melanie open it. Melanie's a little bit tired. That's a pretty a handmade box. Well, one. added to. That's a cover for yeah, it's a cover for. Let's see what's in that. The Reed family. Prim and Prepper. No, there's a baby growing. Well, that's beautiful. Let me see if I can get a reduce the backlighting on this. Oh, oh wow, that's incredible. That is, oh, is, it... is that the bottom? Sure. Wow. Oh, look, there's a heart in it, Melanie. That's some serious work. Oh, wow. And then there's the heart. Wow, that's incredible work. And the little boots. Oh, that's amazing. A little bracelet. That's her first ever bracelet, isn't it? And there's a little heart photo, a photo frame. Wow, that's incredible. Oh, look at that. Cute. That's amazing work. And then you receive a blanket, I think. Yeah, wow. Um, some of you may not know, I used to crochet when I was a kid. So I know what's involved. I was no way I would have ever, ever been able to do such a thing. I don't think most people can do such complicated work. No, I can't put it back. No, take the hanger off. No? No, just here. Give it here. I'll set it aside for you. We'll take care of it later. Keep it away from the cats. That is so incredible. Let's put the net. Oh, the pack for the pack and play. Look at that. Cool. Mosquito Bassinet. netting for the baby. Bassinet. Bassinet sheet. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, look at that. Hold it up a little bit higher. Let me see if you get the whole view there. Wow, there's ears. <laughs> That's funny. That looks warm, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Smells good. Oh, the frame is silver. The photo frame is silver. Wild edible mushrooms. There's mushrooms everywhere out here. Tips and recipes for every mushroom hunter. Yes, I 
Or... Is it a, a? Is that yeah. what that is? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. What's it say on there? Let me see. Gently use wash diaper covers, waterproof diaper covers. That's what that is. Waterproof diaper covers. We can definitely use them, eh? See them? I'll show you the camera. There's what is it? A whole bunch of letters. Three little letters. Butterflies. All different kinds of butterflies. Theme stickers. Oh, a little drawer set. Full of stuff. Oh wow, look at that. There's a gemstone. Look. Is that oh look at that. Oh wow. Oh. Oh, that's oh, all gemstones. I wow, that's all gemstones with with findings. Oh, look at that. They're beautiful. Melanie and I actually have been going to the beaches looking for gemstones that we want to polish. I got haven't got the rock polisher yet. Oh, oh wow, look at that, Melanie. Those are all it's beautiful. I'm saying that word a lot today. Sorry guys, I know somebody's going to be upset with me saying beautiful. Can I say beautiful ten times today? I guess it's just a beautiful day. And there's jewelry findings. Is that, looks like pins and stuff. It's still in there. There's a lot. Can you see what's, some of them? It's like pins. Yeah. So you can make your own things. There's yeah, like, also like this. oh, look at this, guys. There's different themed things here. There's there's a butterfly. There's a shamrock. There's there's all kinds of stuff in here. It's loaded. Melanie's gonna have a blast with this stuff. All kinds of stuff. Melanie's. I know what you're probably gonna be doing the rest of the day. That's going to get her going on her crafts again. Thank you. Oh, there's a little pin fell out of one of the jewelry findings. Tiny, tiny little pin. What does it say? Fabric for Melanie sewing. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that. Look, glittery butterflies. Can I hold it up to the camera? Can you see the glitters in that? I don't know how well it shows. Wow, that's nice, huh? Well, thank you very much. Melanie is still going through the stuff. Um, I just read the letter and I want to say thank you and uh, you're welcome to visit anytime. And when the time is ready, try to reach me out through, or reach out to me on private message, or hopefully I'll have an email going by then. Thank you very much. We're still both in admiring the gemstones. It's funny how much we both like the same things, right Melanie? Mm -hmm. There's such pretty ones in here, it's amazing. Yeah, these ones here change color. Probably the camera won't do it justice, but it's amazing. It's like one of those 3D images you had as a kid. It's incredible how they change color. Well, that prompts me more, Melanie, to get my stuff going. My uh, rock polishing kit. Got to get it going. There's different sizes and everything. Beautiful stuff. Hey, everybody. Been working in the wood shop, and you may notice I took the advice of a YouTuber in the comments, and I swapped the bandsaw around with the table saw. The only thing I don't like is this pokes out, so I might have to put something protective on there. When I walk in the door, I'm afraid one day I might hit that if I'm in a hurry or not paying attention carefully, or one of my guests 
We had guests over yesterday visiting the homestead, and I'm afraid that somebody coming in might not notice that and get hurt. Um, obviously, as you saw, I was running the planer heavily. I've got a lot of dust. I collect the shavings, and uh, it makes good crafting or bedding for the birds. Boy, that was a sappy piece of wood. I didn't notice that. Not cool. Huh. Put a lot of sap in there. Anyway, um, I keep that all in a bag. Oh, I love the smell of pine. So there's the way the wood shop is coming together for now. I still got some sorting and cleaning and a lot of wood um, pieces to put away and other odds and ends, but it's coming along. I'm working out here. So, by the way, thank you for the idea. It does make sense to set up set it up this way instead. And I still have plenty of room to walk through in here and work. I was running this yesterday and I had all the room I needed. It works out. I'm working on the lighthouse as I started a while back. Now that I got my wood shop in order, I can work in the wood shop. So I got the base glued on and screwed. Two screws in this piece, one screw through here, and both glued together. So there's one lighthouse. And I'm about to do the same on this little one here. Figured I'd show you a little bit what I'm doing with my day. So it's just a matter of putting a hole through here, finding out where, at what point I want to drill through, at what depth or whatever you want to say here. Alright, I mark it and then drill through. Then put a dab of glue on there. Well, glue is slow to come out. There we go. A little bit of glue on there. And then we fasten that on here. And then a screw holds it all together permanently. Counter sink it just to just enough so it doesn't interfere with the next piece. Figure out where it's going to go. Roughly eye up where I'm going to put the two screws. And then we're going to have some lighthouses for sale. Now, um, I'm going to sell some simple and make some a little bit more complicated. For example, I'm going to put some some ship anchors leaning against a boulder on some of these, and I'll put some seashells on a couple. I'll mix it up with the ideas here, but I think you get the general idea of whoops what we're going to have. Yeah, I've been wanting to finish these for a while, but baby coming and work moving into the chalet. Everything was life was happening. There we go. There's a little lighthouse ready. Tell me what you think. If anybody's interested, by the way, let me know if anybody wants any. I'll go ahead. I'm going to get the laser burner going. And I'm going to do the Off Grid Project 1000 subscriber celebration coffee coasters, which I'm, uh, which I'm designing right now. So, um... Just to let you give you a heads up, let you know I'm planning that. And if anybody's interested in these, because I'll be using the laser burner for that, 
let me know. I'll get the laser going and make a bunch up. Just did another coat of varnish and everything. So it's going to be quite pretty. Going to have everything a third time here after that's all cured. And then that'll go up in the house. Well, that'll have to stay out because of the cats somewhere, probably in the trailer overnight. And then I'll bring it back in and put it to use. I did what was supposed to be my third and final coat of varnish. <clears throat> and everything was perfect and happy until these little powder covered. Where is he? I can't even see it in the camera. Well, anyway, you can't see it. There it is. These powder covered flies got stuck in my varnish. And they are powdery. So if I attempt to remove them from the varnish, they leave a powdery mess in their wake. Um, you can see the fuzzy powderies all over. I don't know what they are, but um, there's seven of them. I tried to remove that one, and you can see what happened. I guess it's better to let it dry and then fix it, which is frustrating. That was going to be the final coat. And now there's little critters. There's some other kind of a critter over here now. There's little critters dying and suiciding all over my table at the end of the day, at the end of my work. I was going to take it in. Uh, there's all kinds of critters getting... There's another weird different creature getting stuck. Everything is suiciding on my final coat of varnish. All day, nothing. These weird... They're flying all over after... They're all coming after my varnish now. Why? It's weird. It's getting cold out now and everything is suiciding in the varnish. Um, the coffee coasters are fine. Nothing went after them. But here, they're smearing themselves all over it. So I'm probably going to have to rough sand it again tomorrow, and then, uh, or light sand it, to get the bugs off and then redo it again. It's going to be one more day. Hey, everybody. Now the day is done. The day ends how it began. In the opposite, in the reverse. Covering up the garden. It's going to be 41 in town, which means in the 30s. 20s or 30s tonight here. So, can't believe the tomatoes are still alive. Most people even back downstate don't have tomatoes this late in the year. It's all done. But, covering them up makes a huge difference. So, good night everybody. Troy from the do-it-yourself world. I'm the Off-Grid Project.